Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out in the state of Oklahoma, which is of course where panhandling was invented. Today I am here with Piet Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, who invented the Wilhelm scream. Go ahead and do the scream. Yeah, because he charges for that. Piet is French. A lot of people don't know that, but Piet is a type of nut. It is the only nut that grows hair. Uh, so when those are harvested, they have to pick the nuts and then shave them. What style do you do? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So what kind of bullshit are you going to show us today? SOS or alligator bite, shin on shin. All right, so he'll show you the alligator bite, and then when I'm done with him, he'll be crying crocodile tears. Master Ken here. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you haven't heard of it already, it's a free-to-play game available on Mac and PC. Raid has over 600 champions now, but it also has a ton of bosses that fight in totally unique ways. Recently, Raid has released the latest addition to its huge boss roster, the Hydra. This thing is the ultimate beast, a super-powered clan boss that has the power of many bosses rolled into one. It has multiple heads, hence the name Hydra. It can share the pain and push damage from itself onto your team. It can scare your champions, rot them from the inside, cloak itself in a cloud of poison, and do a bunch more crazy bullshit. If you use my link or scan the QR code right here, new players will get some free resources as well as a free mystery champion to help you kickstart the game. I can tell you who it is, but I already forgot. Click the link in the description, I'll see you in the game, and remember, always restop that groin. Once again, this is Pete Wilhelm with Triton Fight Center out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I got one of my students, Trent, over here. I'm gonna show you guys a technique called shin on shin, or also known as the alligator bite. So this happens a lot sometimes when you're working to pass somebody's guard. And I get to isolate this leg, so I'm gonna reach underneath with the arm that's closer towards Trent. I'm gonna cradle underneath his leg, just like that. My other arm is gonna reach over for the other side. I'm gonna bring the hard part of my shin against the weak part of his shin. So as I'm driving my body, I'm gonna get my shin over his control. With my left hand, I'm gonna lift up. So once again, reaching in for here, cradling through his leg, stapling with my shin onto his shin, and lifting with my left arm. And that is what we call the alligator bite or shin on shin. All right, my number one problem with Peter Pan's technique is that it is a fantasy kind of technique. It's a technique that would not work in the real world, okay? So let me apply something Ameridote style that would be accurate and work in a street fight. Now, whenever we utilize moves that are based on animals, you have to be aware of the qualities of that animal. Okay, now the reason we can't do complicated moves based on alligators is that they have no memory. A lot of people don't know that. That's why you don't ever name an alligator. Okay, he won't remember his name. So it's worthless. If you have a pet alligator and you name him Spike, every time you yell Spike, he'll just look, he'll be looking around too, going, who's Spike? Who's a Spike character? Okay, so that's a big problem, number one. Number two, if you're going to mimic an alligator, you actually want to move the way an alligator moves, okay? These here are the jaws. We turn our claws into jaws, okay? Alligator biting, okay? This allows me to strike him without getting in grappling distance, okay? I'm squared off with Trent here. I have my alligator jaws and I'm just moving, okay? I can chomp the head, okay? I can chomp a nipple, okay? I can chomp a groin, okay? Biting, 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 biting. Okay? Then, I, if I want to move in close, I absolutely can do that, but I'm not going to uh, do it in a way where I'm staying still. I'm going to do what's called an alligator roll. When an alligator grabs its prey, it rolls and disorients them, okay? So I'm just going to grab Trent and we're just going to roll, okay? I'm just going to disorient him by just rolling around, okay? Rolling back and forth until he is so exhausted and disoriented that I can then, as always, restomp that groin. 
All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Piet Willenheim for uh, showing us some of his crocodile moves. And uh, if people want to find out more about you, they can. You visit us on our website, tritonfightcenter.org, or give us a call if you're in the area, 918-25-CHOKE. Your phone number is Choke? Choke. Cool. Uh, and if people want to follow you online, they can. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Trendsetter85. Say it into the. Instagram, Trendsetter85. All right, and as always, I'm Master Ken, reminding you to always rechomp the groin. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us.